What advice would you give to your younger self if you get the chance? This movie portrays one of the answers. Welcome to Magician Recaps Explains. Let's jump right into it. In Belgium, Henry Brogan, Will Smith, an aging former Marine Scout sniper, who now works as an assassin for the Defense Intelligence Agency, DIA, is sent on a mission to assassinate an anonymous terrorist aboard a bullet train. During the mission, Henry's spotter, Marino, warns him of a young girl approaching the target, causing Henry to delay his shot until the last second, shooting the man in the neck despite aiming for his head. Marino tells him how great he is and shows him a video he took in the train, but Henry told him to delete it. A few days later, disillusioned with killing, Henry retires from government service. Del Peterson visits him in his house, and Henry tells him about how he aimed for the head but hit the neck instead. Del said he would be missing him since he's retired, and worried about how he's going to trust the next guy that would take Henry's place. Henry is worried about that little girl, who was close to the target, saying if he had made a little mistake, that little girl would be dead. Del wishes him well on his retirement. While adjusting to retirement, Henry meets boat rental manager, Denny, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who helps him by giving Henry a boat to reconnect with an old friend, Jack, Douglas Hodge, who reveals that an informant named Yuri, Ilya Volok, told him that the man Henry killed was innocent, but Henry demanding proof says, he read the suspect files, but Jack told him the file is being spiked. Henry has Jack arrange a meeting with Yuri. Meanwhile, they are being monitored, and Henry noticed it. In retaliation for Henry knowing their deception, agency director, Lassiter, Linda Emmond, plans to kill him. However, Clay Veris, Clive Owen, head of a top-secret black operations unit code, named Gemini, requests permission to eliminate him but is denied, with Lassiter saying she can handle it herself. Clay warns her not to mess up this time, because he's the only one that has someone who can take Henry down. While returning, he removes a tracking device from the boat, making him to realize Danny is a fellow agent sent to monitor him. Henry approaches her ask if she's an agent. She denies it, but he later tricked her to admit she is. Henry befriends her, fully knowing that Danny has been assigned to keep an eye on him. In the night, agents break into his house while asleep. He is alerted and armed himself. He eventually kills them all. After his home is broken into by government agents, Henry calls Marino to move out from the city and never return because they know he is associated with him. Unfortunately, Marino was killed while on the phone. Jack and his mistress are also attacked on their boat, and they are both killed. Henry goes and warns Danny about the attack. Henry leaves to pick up some guns. Meanwhile, Danny is attacked in her office while making an arrangement to flee with Henry, but she managed to kill the assassin. At the end, they managed to kill the assassin sent after them, learning the agency wants them both dead. They flee to Colombia. Escaping to Colombia, Henry and Danny meet and go to the home of Henry's former colleague, Baron. Benedict Wong, and plan to meet with Yuri for further options, Henry calls Del to ask about betraying him. But Del claims he has nothing to do with it. Henry asks if Marino and Jack are dead. And he confirmed it. Del borrows a student's phone, and calls Henry back, telling him that, Gemini is now involved in this, so they have a problem. Henry asks if the terrorist he eliminated has anything to do with Gemini, and he reveals he was once working for them. Henry is mad at Del to make him pull trigger for Gemini. Later, Henry tells Danny his encounter with Clay, and how he used to work for him. Meanwhile, after Lassiter attempts to kill Henry failed, Lassiter asks Clay the way forward with Henry, and Clay takes it upon himself to eliminate him, though Lassiter is not fully in support. A few days later, Clay dispatches his top assassin to kill Henry. Henry spots him, and goes to Danny and tells her to stay low since they are shooters around. He goes outside the building while monitoring the killer's move. They start a shootout, and when Henry gets the chance to put the killer down, he realizes something strange, and decide not to shoot him. Yet still, the killer tries to kill him. Fighting him off, Henry realizes the assassin bears an uncanny resemblance to himself, as a young man, with a similar skill set. Henry moves out to get on a motorbike, leading to a hefty race, and a motorbike chase. Finding it hard to get rid of the killer, the killer gradually catches up with him, and performs a great move. Causing Henry to fall from his bike the killer attacks him severely, and when he got the chance to kill him, the police arrives, making him to escape leaving behind Cap. The police arrested Henry, but Baron and Danny got him out. When the injured assassin arrives at a safe house, 
he is revealed to be Clay's adopted son, Junior. Although he is curious about his similarities to Henry, but Clay insists he's his son and will always love him, and he ordered Junior to finish the job. Henry is also troubled by his similarities to the assassin, whom Danny suggests might be his child. Despite Henry's denials, testing DNA samples recovered from Junior, Danny discovers that his and Henry's DNA are identical, revealing Junior as Henry's younger clone. Desperate for answers, Henry meets Yuri in Hungary and learns of the cloning project and that the man he killed was one of the project's scientists. Having designed a method to produce clones, devoid of pain or emotion, the scientist tried to leave the project and was killed upon being discovered. He tells Henry to work with him, since they are all after a common enemy. Trying to get Junior to turn away from Clay's intentions, Henry calls Lassiter, asking her to bring Danny back in, who agrees to send Junior to bring Danny safely back to the United States. Collecting Danny, he makes her to undress, in order to make sure she's not wearing a wire. Junior make her call Henry to tell him to meet him. They ride to an ancient building. They move inside the building, and Junior sets up a trap for Henry and ties Danny to a spot, but she warns him via a covert listening device, hidden in her tooth. Danny asks why he wants Henry dead, and he reveals Henry kills eight agents, but Danny tries to convince him that this agent were sent to kill Henry rather, but he didn't listen. Ambushing the younger assassin, Henry explains to Junior that he is a clone, convincing him by revealing their similar traits that no one else could know. Yet still, Junior attacks him, fighting furiously and nearly killing Henry, but Danny rescued him, making Junior escaping back to Gemini. A heartbroken Junior confronts Clay, saying he's been deceiving him all these while, but he says he did that for the best of Junior. Clay claims that he must defeat Henry in order to surpass him. Finding Henry after sneaking out of Gemini, Junior shot a tranquilizer on Henry, which starts to kill him. Danny begs him, and he injects him the antidote, making him to feel better. Baron asks why they know all their moves, and Junior reveals they are being tracked. He removes the tracker from Henry. Junior allies with him to bring down Clay, while Henry urges Junior to quit, in order to become someone better. Junior asks about Henry's mother, and more about him. In the middle of the town, Clay called Junior to get out of the car. They are attacked with the missiles, and Baron is killed in an ambush, ordered by Clay. Henry and Danny take shelter in a provision shop nearby. The men start shooting at them, destroying anything that's in their way. Junior confronts Clay to tell his squad to back off, but instead, Clay fights him, and Junior knocks Clay unconscious after the brief hand-to-hand -hand fight. After defeating a wave of Gemini operatives, with Junior's help, Clay's orders another operative to attack them. Henry, Danny, and Junior face another operative, with special body armor, who feels no pain or emotions. After shooting him repeatedly, and along with several secondary explosions, they manage to kill him. They remove his helmet, and he is also discovered to be a younger clone, with all emotion and ability to feel pain removed. A defeated Clay tries to justify his actions towards Junior, who almost shoots him. Henry persuades Junior not to kill him, but kills Clay himself, having already lived with the heavy burden. Assured from Dell that there are no more clones that were produced, and that they are finally free from harm's way, Henry later meets with Junior, who has enrolled into college under the assumed identity of Jackson Brogan. After Henry's mother's surname, Together, Henry and Danny plan Jackson's future. That's all for this movie recap. Just like and subscribe for all blockbuster movie recaps.